Now we're going to walk you through some of those feel good stories we brought to you this week. Here's Channel 3's Nicole Nalepa with a week in review of the bright spot. I am amazed, ranging I think from 94 to 101 years old. How about a round of applause for your brothers up here and our World War II veterans. Just days ago, we caught up with the antique veterans once again as they celebrated their 25th anniversary. It is with great pride that I hereby proclaim today, Thursday, March 25th, 2021, as the Antique Veterans Honor Guard Day in the city of Meriden and ask all residents to join in celebration. So thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. The tables were turned for once on them as members of the community came out in appreciation of all the antiques have given to us over the years. Today, we'd like to present our quilts. Great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Your service is remarkable. It truly is. The antique veterans have completed more than 1,718 military honors for their fallen brothers and sisters in arms since September 11th, 2001. And it's the work that you do, not just in honoring those when they are laid to rest, but in educating the public about what our flag means. Anytime I call any one of these gentlemen to be at an inauguration, to come to a parade, to do a ceremonial flag raising at an event, they are there. They have always been there for us. And that is why our gratitude will always be there for them. Connecticut Draft Horse Rescue is a nonprofit in East Hampton that's known for their remarkable efforts when it comes to giving draft horses a new lease on life. In Marshmallow's case, he just turned 30 years old and has arthritis. So any kind of physical work or riding is out of the question. But being inactive for prolonged periods of time is also just as detrimental to his health. So after putting their heads together this month, the volunteers came up with an idea. They'd appoint Marshmallow as the rescue's mailman. Marshmallow settled right into the role of walking up to the mailbox and picking up the mail each day. He even looks the part too. One of the volunteers turned a donated saddlebag into a unique mail carrier bag just for him. Hi baby, oh, you're so cute. Meet Everly. She is one of the 18 lambs the Riley Rescue Farm saved just days ago. The rescue's volunteers have been busy working around the clock, bottle feeding her and the nine other lambs, some of which will be placed in animal sanctuaries around the country. Well, we just learned that aside from continuing to save more animals, Marla and her team of volunteers are getting ready to bring kids to the farm so they can watch and learn about all the wonderful animals and reptiles in person. She told us they're in the process of building a small animal center that will house their reptile rescues and exotics. With today's bright spot, I'm Nicole Nalepa.